and guidance from Governor John Bell Edwards, all East Baton Rouge Parish schools and facilities have been closed to the general public. As a result, virtual learning has begun through technology integration efforts. We hope you enjoy class this week, continuing distance education. Pirates! Ready for class to begin! ready for today's lesson it's gonna be great I hope you enjoyed last week we learned all about what is music and entertainment technology this week we are going to ask ourselves are you not entertained which basically means that we're gonna ask you what does it take for people to be entertained in general there are a few things that we have to consider. There's another thing that we talked about on last week, which is called emotions. Remember, we learned that music is there through entertainment technology to cause you to feel. By the way, how are you feeling today? Use the emojis and in the comment section, make sure you show us how you're feeling today, no matter how that feeling may be. We want to know about how you feel and we care about you. So make sure you do that for Ms. Gibbs. Ready? Okay. I hope you guys are ready for your lesson today. We got some fun and exciting things to show you. But before we get started, let's do our fun chant. Here we go. Boys and girls all around. Get your buddies ready now. Awesome job, guys. I hope you're ready for today's lesson. It's going to be exciting. Here we go. In the art of entertainment, it is received best when it triggers an emotion. Uh-oh. There's that word again. Emotion. Meaning that there are triggers there to make you feel. It's there to invoke an emotion. What do I mean by emotions exactly? Hmm. Nerd moment. Did you know that there are six basic emotions? Six. What are, what are those, those emotions? emotions? What are those emotions? Hmm. I'm glad you asked. We'll go through the list, starting with number one, all the way to number six. And then we'll go back and do something fun to make sure we remember everything about emotions. I hope you're ready to feel all of this learning today. I'm excited, and I hope you are too. Our first emotion is happiness. Our second emotion, sadness. Third emotion, fear. Fourth emotion, disgust. Fifth emotion, anger. Number six, surprise. Okay, boys and girls, let's go through each one. When I call out the emotion, you make the face. I want you to feel exactly what it looks like. Show me in the comment section. You can use your emojis this time. Okay, boys and girls, let's see happiness. Show me a happy face. Let's see sadness. Show me a sad face. Let's see fear. Let's see disgust. discovered long time ago. Did you know that? That there was actually a study about emotions? That's why it's so important when you see it. 
Also, it's very important when you hear it. Isn't that something interesting that you can hear something and it makes you feel a certain way? Hmm. That's the science side of music. Oh, yeah. Give it up for it. I just gave you your first nerd moment and we did a great job. Let's learn more about emotions, but this time, let's do it in Spanish. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Hey. It's Spanish time. When it's chatting. Hey. It's Spanish time. When it's chatting. Hey. It's Spanish time. When it's chatting. Hey. It's Spanish time. Hey. Clase, clase. Sí, sí. Hola, mis kids. ¿Cómo están? Yes. Hola, Miss Chavez. I am doing <laughs> fine. How do you say I'm doing fine in español? Eh, muy bien. Muy bien. I love it. Muy bien. Are you ready to start? Yes, I am ready to start. But I want you to say it in Spanish. Los sentimientos. Los Sentimientos. That means uh, you go going to say about talking about the feelings. That means yes. los, los sentimientos means the feelings. Los sentimientos. Uh -huh. Sentimientos. Yeah, you're getting in there. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> and it's easy to say emociones because it's almost similar to Spanish the emotions. Oh, so exactly. you can say las emociones. Las emociones. Oh, wow. Good job. <laughs> I have a good student today. Yeah. Oh, my God. So you're learning quicker. Yes. So we're going to start with a few words because I have so many of the vocabulary words. So you're going to say contento. Contento is for males. Con Contenta es for females. Okay. And like I do are happy. Contento. Se contento. 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 Contenta. Contento and contentia. Contenta. 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 Right, correct. That's a good job. Okay. Uh, uh, when you say contento in Spanish, we always speak in um, males and females. Okay. Everything in Spanish you will hear male and female. Everything. I got it. Even even you say the table. Mm -hmm. Even you say in Spanish la mesa, an example. Or we say a lapis is a male, so we say every single thing has to be in gender. Gotcha. That's kind of like French too. In en français, either it's masculine or feminine, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct, girls. It's not going to be so hard for you to learn another language. Okay. Oh yeah. So, so remember when you go to say contento, tú Tento. estás contento, contenta. Feliz. Right, feliz. Feliz. Right. So you're going to use your expressions, you know, feliz, that you can learn. Like it is quick because when I was teaching my students, say bien, they, when I was doing like this, they knew that was mean bien. Bien. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And when I was say uh, mal, I was feeling bad. So mal. They knew it. Right. You need to see that the majority of the words they always have the O at the end or the A at I mean the A at the end. Also uh, sometimes they have a different vowel. Got it. Okay. So I mean I'm going to ask you this question. Uh, uh how you feel today? How are you going to respond with that? Okay. I can't wait. So if you were to ask me how do I feel today, I yes. would Hey, bien. Muy bien. Muy hey, what bien. are you going to say? What does that mean? That means contenta. Oh my God. Ah. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's see what one of our core teachers is doing. Her name is Miss Darensburg. 
and she's a math teacher. Let's see how we can bring it all together. Oh, good morning, Pop Force. This is Mrs. Dansberg. I teach fourth grade math. Right now, I'm here trying to figure out a word problem. And I'm trying to figure out what strategy do we use to solve word problems? What strategy? I know. It's called RDW. And when we use RDW, we use that mainly for word problems. And RDW stands for read, draw, and write. So let me read this problem to you. Josh had 41 marbles. Peter gave Josh 24 marbles. How many marbles does Josh have in all? We just read the problem. But when we also read in math, we read to understand. And just like in ELA, we read, we pull out key details to help us understand the text, just like you do with word problems as well. We need to pull out those key details. So looking at this problem again, one of my key details is, Josh already had 41 marbles. Looking again, Peter gave him 24 marbles. So now I pulled out my key details to help me solve this problem. The next step we need to do is draw. Hmm, what math tool I can use to draw? We can use many things to draw, but today, the math tool I think I'm gonna use is a tape diagram. In fourth grade, we love using tape diagrams. In order to use a tape diagram, it helps me separate and organize my work. Hmm, so in my tape diagram, I'm going to have two parts. In those two parts, in the first part of my tape diagram, I'm going to represent 41 marbles. In the second part of my tape diagram, I'm going to represent 24 marbles. Now I have 41 and 24. Now I know in my tape diagram, I need to figure out my whole. That's the part that's missing. How many does Josh have in all? So I read and I drew my tape diagram. Now it's time for me to write. With writing, I have to write an equation and I have to write a statement. So, what's my equation? Looking at my tape diagram, knowing I have two parts, I know it's 41 plus 24. Now, I need to add those two together because when I have a part and a part, I need to add 20 plus 40 gives me 60. And one plus four gives me five. So 60 plus five, hmm, that gives me 65. Oh, Josh has 65 marbles all together. Now I know I can write my statement because they want to know how many marbles does Josh have in all. I'm going to write that statement. We can just restate it. Josh has. 65 marbles in all. Hmm, I think I figured it out. Josh has 65 marbles! In all of the class, we use RDW. We read, the, we read our sentence. We drew a model for our problem. And then we wrote a statement in an equation. This is how you use RDW to solve word problems. Thank you so much, Pipewise Pirates. I enjoyed it. Good luck. Pirates learning every day. One mission, one team, one dream. Wasn't that a cool lesson from Ms. Derensburg? Oh my gosh, I really enjoyed the lesson. Didn't you? She taught us all about RDW. And we even learned about word problems. Why don't you give Miss Derensburg a big hand? She did a great job. I learned so much today. Aren't you learning? And isn't learning fun? Make sure you remember a few things about our lesson this week. Remember to think about why a sound is there. What are you supposed to be feeling during that time? Also, think about if you want to entertain. What all will it take? What will you need to do? What emotion do you want your audience to feel? What sound would make your audience have that feeling? Hmm, those are some pretty good questions. I hope you remember everything and I hope you had a great time. See you guys on next week. One more thing, make sure you remember to like, share, 
and subscribe to our channel because the pirates are ready for more virtual learning. Bye-bye.